did uh, speak to a very new individual in Kenya, that is the Turkish ambassador to uh, Kenya. That is an exclusive interview, the first ever by Mr. Ahmed. Well, let me just take you straight to that interview. I'd spoken to him earlier. Take a look. Now, uh, first of all, I would like to stress that uh, Kenya, we see uh, Kenya as a very strong actor and very important uh, economic partner in Africa. And uh, we believe that in order to move forward, first you have to define the targets. So rightfully, the two presidents set a very ambitious, but in my opinion, an achievable target. And now, when we look at the numbers, we, uh, we see that we are still at the uh, process of uh, improving. Because now uh, our uh, bilateral trade volume is around uh, 150 million uh, dollars. So we have uh, much to do. So what we have to do is we have to work and we have to understand and we have to, uh, the two countries and the two businessmen of the two countries must understand the opportunities. So uh, our first aim is to make an awareness both in Kenya and Turkey, about the two respective countries. So, uh, in this point, uh, now, I understand that it is the right time to give impetus to our uh, relations, both political and economic. Because uh, last year, there were, uh, I mean, uh, Kenya has its electoral uh, process and Turkey was going through some other uh, problems but now uh, we understand that now is the high time to uh, improve so this uh, economic and trade relations will be one of the points and now uh, we will do our uh, utmost to achieve the target that was put forward by the two presidents now, I believe it is uh, already uh, I can uh, I can say that, uh, and I am glad to note that already uh, Turkish agenda and uh, Kenya's agenda are uh, very concurrent. And now, uh, what I see when I look at the uh, Big Four agenda, I am happy to see that there are already lots of Turkish firms in Kenya who are working on some projects to contribute to the Big Four, namely uh, healthcare or agriculture or uh, affordable housing. So in this case, uh, when we say win-win, we just uh, must uh, first of all see the uh, priorities of each country and as Turkey we must see uh, how can we contribute. So in this case, uh, now uh, we are ready to contribute and uh, I am uh, encouraging both uh, Turkish and Kenyan sides to give impetus to some technical visits as like the uh, mid uh, commission's visit, some technical visits to see the opportunities on the site. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure by uh, following this route, then uh, we will have the opportunity to uh, move forward in our economic and uh, trade cooperation. In order to summarize uh, our relations, first of all, as you mentioned, win-win. I mean, we are here to just try to contribute to the development of uh, African countries. Meanwhile, the uh, Turkish private sector will have a new market. Africa has a huge and uh, huge market and there's lots of potential here. So in this case, uh, now uh, we will be coming here as the private sector, Turkish private sector will uh, look for some opportunities and uh, when they find something mutually beneficial, we will go through it and we will uh, try to uh, improve our relations on that point. And as for uh, political, we always support, uh, we understand the problems of Africa and we always support with our strategic partnership, we, uh, we must uh, find African solutions to African problems. So we are here, we are in this understanding and we try to um, contribute to the solution of the Africa with, uh, with our humble contribution. And uh, as uh, you can see with the activities of uh, TICA, Turkish Coordination and uh, Cooperation Agency, they are, uh, they are 
on the field and they are in uh, close contact with the uh, I mean all the governorships and the counties and they uh, they just listen to them and uh, and on the ground we listen to their uh, problems and we are trying to bring our own contribution mm -hmm. because a stable and uh, a strong Africa is of the uh, benefit of uh, Turkey. Before the Mid Commission's visit, we come uh, together with them and we discuss what can we do, what do they expect from the visit, and say so, so they openly uh, just tell uh, their expectations. We so we prepare the program accordingly, and that's why the uh, visit was a success. So. Uh, they were also mentioning that they were using some uh, old equipment, so they were interested in uh, some uh, kind of, uh, uh, I mean, uh, renovating their machinery or to buy some uh, new machinery from uh, Turkey. So as I mentioned, this is the win-win solution. So they need something and they go and uh, they understand that we can provide. So in this case, both Kenya's institutions win and both Turkish uh, private sector which provides this uh, machinery uh, benefits from this uh, process mm -hmm. and we should not be uh, just limit uh, our uh, cooperation in the uh, in the agriculture sector just to uh, maybe uh, meet commission's visit there are lots of vast opportunities and for example there are many companies now in uh, Kenya actively just uh, working on some projects, on irrigation projects or some cotton production. So we just need, uh, we are here and we need just the support of the uh, Kenyan institutions. So because we see that uh, we can both uh, benefit from uh, this cooperation very much. Of course, I mean, now uh, we are in a uh, changing world. The uh, realities, we have new uh, realities. Uh, there is a new world order uh, is rising. And uh, one of uh, the main principles of Turkish uh, foreign policy is uh, can be summarized as humanitarian uh, foreign policy. So now uh, we are uh, none of the countries today are just uh, limited to their boundaries. Everybody must look around. Now it is a global world, and uh, we must interact. And we see uh, how can we benefit, how can we contribute, all these, uh, I mean, uh, points should be put into the calculations and then, uh, as I said, we have long historical background with uh, Africa, not from the 60s or 50s, we have uh, centuries old uh, historical ties, so uh, we are here to help, to assist and to see what we can do and also uh, we are looking some, uh, for some uh, mutually beneficial cooperation mm -hmm. that we can uh, improve our uh, relations. Now in Africa we have around 45, 41 embassies. Uh, this is a sign of Turkey's uh, I mean, interest in the, the continent. Mm -hmm. So we are here to develop our relations to see uh, what we can do, how can we uh, develop together, how can we assist and uh, to make uh, Africa uh, a strong and uh, a strong partner in our relations. Now, uh, the uh, thing that disting distinguishes TICA from um, other government institutions, they are on the uh, field. They are just going, talking with everybody, listening to them, and they just find how can we uh, contribute. But of course, this is not. Uh, uh, this is something they are looking for some uh, sustainable cooperation. That I mean, not just a, a, a aid agency. It is for sustainable development. They go and listen to the people on the field. What they need. I mean, what is their problems? They have many uh, fields of, uh, I mean, uh, how can I say, contribution. Mm -hmm. For example, they uh, talk and they say that now uh, uh, there are uh, women who need some uh, job opportunities or something like that. So they uh, develop some kind of projects to, for women empowerment. They see that uh, there are some uh, youth who need some, uh, I mean, um, support. So they develop projects to involve youth, to uh, make them contribute to the society. Okay, they have uh, agriculture, 
but uh, they have good uh, fertile land, but they don't know how to, uh, I mean, uh, make use of it. So uh, together with TICA, they develop projects. So uh, with this sustainable cooperation, it just, uh, I mean, uh, they continue and continue. So uh, uh, in this way, they contribute uh, to the, uh, I mean, uh, counties and other parts of uh, in Kenya or other parts of Africa. As for uh, Somalia, we know, I mean, you, as you rightfully uh, put it, uh, if the Somalia, uh, Somalia is not uh, stable, then the region will not be stable. So uh, one of the reasons why we are uh, much interested in Somalia is because, first of all, um, we have uh, a very long-rooted uh, uh, historical ties with Somalia and we, we feel obliged to support them. The second thing is, as I uh, put it, we have a humanitarian aspect of our uh, relations. So uh, we just uh, go there to help, not just for uh, the country itself, but for the region. And uh, now the, uh, terrorism is the disease of our century. We must fight all together. None of the countries will be successful by uh, trying to uh, fight terrorism alone. It is a, it is a, uh, I mean, fight that needs uh, international support and cooperation. And we always look at it like that. And as for, uh, we have to say that when we are contributing to the stability and security of Somalia, then we are also contributing to Kenya. We have lots of things to, uh, I mean, uh, develop in our security cooperation with Kenya. Uh, and uh, now we are open to contacts and we will uh, just encourage at any level the uh, level of contacts to contribute to our uh, security cooperation with Kenya. Now, this is, uh, first of all, as the governments, uh, before developing uh, the economic relations before the starting point is to lay the uh, legal foundation. So uh, that's why uh, we are, uh, we have already, uh, I think, initialed the double taxation agreement. Now uh, we need to uh, just uh, agree on the final text. And after that, uh, it will be signed. And when it's on, uh, I mean, when it's ratified, then uh, we will be uh, have a better uh, trade uh, condition. Also, it's the same for the promotion of investments. We have already signed the agreement. Now it is the part of the parliaments that have to ratify. And then after this ratification, uh, then uh, we'll be able to have a much more uh, better uh, economic uh, atmosphere.